I swear by Almighty God that the evidence that I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Andy? Not a sausage. You? Well. If you'd like to proceed. DCI Jordan, you were the chief investigating officer. That's correct. What led you to deem Mr. Cochrane a suspect? We found his wallet at the scene of the crime. His wallet? It's not often that a criminal is so obliging. Lie, lie, lie. Is there a problem? Only you're taking a long time to answer. He dropped his wallet and we found it. No, that's exactly what he wants. You're playing his game for him. Stop doing that. Stop behaving like a policeman. Mr. Cochran maintains that he had lost the wallet a few days prior to the murder. That's right. He did make that claim. Yeah, and did you investigate that? Go with me, Carol. We can do this. We can crack him. Go with me. DCI Jordan. Um, I didn't see the need. Is it not a possibility that my client could have done so? No. <sighs> Dr. Hill's right. There's nothing. According to my research, there was never any forensic connection to Mr. Cochrane. You never found any bloodied clothes or fingerprints, hair samples, nothing. Can you explain this? You have to change the course of things. Steer it out of his control. Trust me, Carol. Trust me. It's possible he used gloves, disposed of his clothing was very careful. But then he rather stupidly dropped his wallet. Make something happen, Carol. I suppose when you put it like that, it does seem careless. Yeah, you can get to him. You know you can. Would you say it was in keeping with Mr. Cochrane to make silly schoolboy errors such as this? Over the course of years that we've known Mr. Cochrane, I... May I remind you that you may not speak or speculate about my client's past in this room? Yes, but... Say it. I'd say he was a very clever and watchful person. Not the sort of person who would leave behind evidence. That's not the impression he gives. I'm getting the impression that you've started to doubt Mr. Cochrane's guilt. I'm just answering your questions. You never stated any of this in the original investigation. Why is that? Can you see him? He's panicking, Carol. I don't know why I didn't voice that thought. It just seemed like seemed. we had a... It's hardly concrete evidence. We had his wallet. He couldn't provide an alibi for his whereabouts. I think you wanted to get Mr. Cochrane regardless. Like you said earlier, the police and he have a lot of history. And you never had the means or the opportunity to do anything about it. Until now. That's your reading of the situation. It's not mine. But you're not disagreeing, are you? Take the mask off. For your son. For Vinny. Take it off. Tell the world what happened to him. No further questions. What? Step down, please. But... I won't ask again. Don't stop now, he'll get away with it. 